Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for April 26. Today is the Wednesday of the third week of Easter. Let's have our moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> People of every nation shall come and worship you, O Lord. Alleluia. Turn your, your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call you, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me the sign of your favor, that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. People of every nation shall come and worship you, O Lord. Alleluia.
Our eyes will see the King in all His radiant beauty. Alleluia. Here, Here you are far off, what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge my might. All Zion's sinners are in dread, trembling grips the impious. Who of us can live with the consuming fire? Who of us can live with the everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spurns what is gained by oppression, brushing his hands free of contact with the bride, stopping his ears, lest the hair of bloodshed, closing his eyes, lest he look on evil. He shall dwell on the heights, his stronghold shall be the rocky fastness, his food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our eyes will see the King in all his radiant beauty. Alleluia. All people will see the saving power of our God. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his strength to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all of the earth, ring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with the trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the earth with justice, and the peoples with fairness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All people will see the saving power of our, our God. God. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we are also to live with him. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no more power over him. His death was death to sin. Once for all, his life is life for God. In the same way, you must consider yourselves dead to sin but a life for God in Christ Jesus, the Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. In John chapter 14, verse 1, it said that, Do not let your heart be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Jesus is the fulfillment of the scripture and he show his disciple that he is the one to come to redeem all the creation and they believe they have faith and total trust in God. We also ask to have faith, to believe, 
and to trust in the power of God's salvation. Jesus is the one who is and who was to come. God show his love for us by sending his only son to redeem us and all the creation to reconcile us again to the father so as we reflect on that faith on that belief on that trust we also have to serve our neighbors, one another, our family, our friends, and to translate the same faith and belief and trust in God by doing the work of Jesus. We are once called to be his hands and feet to others, and we believe by the power of the Holy Spirit that we are guided in the right path in dealing with everyday situation, all those surprises on our daily basis. But we do believe that God is always in our midst. We need to transform our small community by serving one another, especially those who are needy and those who mourn. Christ is the fulfillment of God's promise and we ought to translate that faith to others in doing the work of Christ. We are all called sons and daughters of God because He commissioned us to bear the good fruit that Christ Himself showed us and won upon the cross. So as we journey into our daily living, we need to show that same faith, belief, and trust in God so that people will see that Christ is in us and we equally see that Christ is in everyone as well. So as we continue our morning prayer, we ask God to continue to guide us, to strengthen us, to have that faith, that belief, and trust that we are transformed by the love of God. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The, the Lord, Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever sees the Son and believes in Him will live forever and I shall raise him up on the last day. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight 
all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Whoever sees the Son and believes in Him will live forever and I shall raise him up on the last day. Hallelujah. Christ was given up for our sins and rose again to make us righteous. Let us cry out to him, saying, Save us, Lord, by your victory. Christ our Savior, in conquering death, you brought us joy. In rising again, you raised us up and filled us with the abundance of your gifts. Sear up our hearts and sanctify this day through the gifts of your Holy Spirit. You are glorified by the angels in heaven and adored by mankind on earth as we celebrate your resurrection. Accept our worship in spirit and our truth. Lord Jesus, save us. Show your great mercy to your people as we look forward to our own resurrection. Have mercy on us and protect us today from every evil. King of glory, source of our life, grant that when you come again, we be one with you in glory. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions together with the prayers and petitions of each and everyone who are praying with us this morning. We ask you, Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Save, Save us, Lord, Lord by, by your, your victory. victory. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, Hear the prayers of your people. May we who have received your gift of faith share forever in the new life of new life of Christ. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord.
by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.